क्या हाल है चार्ली क्या तुम्हारी दोस्त डायन यहाँ है ये कैसा नाम है उसने मुझे यही बताया था या ये मुझे कुछ ऐसा ही सुनाई दे रहा था से दोबारा मिलना अच्छा लगा मुझे पता था आप मरी नहीं हैं। हेलो। <laughs> oh, आप सर को फिर से जिंदा कर सकती हैं? मुझे यकीन नहीं हो रहा है कि मैं क्या कर रही हूँ रुको तुम्हें ये कहा मिला ये तीरे वो मुझे दे दो अभी किसी ने तोहफा दिया है जैसा वो कहती है वैसा करो ये तीर खतरनाक है दुष्ट है अगर और तीर मिले तो उन्हें भी नष्ट कर देना समझे आई बात समझ में जवाब दो समझ गया अगर मुझे और मिले तो मैं इन्हें नष्ट कर दूंगा मैं यही जानना चाहती थी मुझे माफ कर दो प्लीज उसके जगह मेरे तीर ले जाओ अब मुझे उनकी जरूरत नहीं है हाँ। अब इस सिर का क्या माजरा है क्या तुम्हें अंदाजा है कि ये कौन है क्या तुमने इसे मारा इसी के कहने पर मारा इसने कहा तुम इसे जिंदा कर सकती हो मैं क्या तुमने ठीक से सुना था हाँ उसे टेबल पे रख दो है मिली पुराने जादू को छोड़े हुए मुझे काफी वक्त हो चुका है ऐसे ही पकड़े रखो देखते हैं खैर शुक्र है उसका सिर ज्यादा खराब नहीं हुआ है और उसका दिमाग अभी भी बरकरार है सफाई से काटा है सभी लोगों में इसका सिर काट दिया मुझे यकीन है तुम क्या करने जा रहे हो अब इसका सिर पानी में डाल के पकड़े रखो और इसे जाने मत देना समझ गए तुम बस काफी है जादू काम कर गया मुझे देखने दो मेमेर तुम सुन सकते हो हाँ अच्छी बात है हेलो फ्रेया काफी समय हो गया है तुम आज भी अच्छी लगती हो मैंने जो कुछ भी किया उनके लिए किया है और जहाँ तक मेरा सवाल है तुम्हारे लिए मौत बेहतर है अगर मैं झुक सकता तो झुक जाता महारानी मुझे माफ कर दो मुझे पता होता कि जंगल की डायन खुद फ्रेया है तो मैं कभी ये सुझाव नहीं देता फ्रेया देवी फ्रेया तुम भी नहीं जानते थे माफ करना अगर पता चल गया की मेरे आजाद हो गया है तो और खामोश नहीं बैठेगा तुम एक भगवान हो बेनर के लिए तेने एक बार किया था हाँ लेकिन अब नहीं तुमने मुझे यह बताना जरूरी नहीं समझा क्या तुम अब मुझे इस पर लेक्चर देना चाहते हो हम जा रहे हैं बच्चे लेकिन अभी तुम्हारा स्वागत है आपने ऐसा क्यों किया हम उस पर भरोसा नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि वो भगवान है क्या तुमने मुझसे कुछ नहीं सीखा पर उन्होंने हमारी मदद की है उसने झूठ कहा कुछ लोग अपनी निजी जिंदगी को अहमियत देते हैं जज ना करना ही बेहतर है जब तुम्हारी सलाह की जरूरत होगी मैं तुमसे पूछ लूंगा बहुत बढ़िया मुझे लेक ऑफ द नाइन में टायर्स के मंदिर में ले चलो और मैं तुम्हें वादे के मुताबिक यौन हेम ले जाऊंगा हम उस मंदिर को जानते हैं वहाँ क्या है मिड गार्ड में सिर्फ आखिरी ज्वाइंट ही जिंदा बचा है हमें उससे बेहतर और कौन रास्ता बता सकता है विश्व नाग रुके क्या आप जानते हैं उससे कैसे बात करनी है बिल्कुल उसकी भाषा अलग है इन पहाड़ों से भी प्राचीन काल की मिडगार्ड में इसे बोलने वाला कोई नहीं बचा है सिवाय जाहिर है मेरे लिए सच में सच में चाहकर भी तुम समझ नहीं पाओगे क्योंकि ये योरमुंग गैंडा बिजली सी बोली है वैसे मिमिर फ्रेया ने तुम्हारे चेहरे पर क्यों थोका नहीं बोल्डर के बारे में बता वो कहता है कोई उसका कुछ नहीं बिगाड़ सकता बोल्डर को सभी खतरों हर तरह का जिस्मानी और जादुई आशीर्वाद मिला है देवता का कमांड 
हर भगवान की एक कमजोरी होती है लेकिन मुझे इस बात का कोई डर नहीं क्योंकि जैसा मैंने कहा उसे हर तरह का जिस्मानी और जादुई आशीर्वाद मिला है तुमने ये अभी कहा मुमिर उसकी शक्ति का जरिया क्या है खैर जैसा कि मुझे याद है इसमें शामिल है आ, एक जादू मिमिर दिमाग के कुछ हिस्से अभी भी जिंदगी में वापस आ रहे होंगे उन्हें जगाने के लिए बस एक पल का इंतजार है सिर हम सांप से कैसे बात करें पुल के बीच में एक प्लेटफॉर्म पर एक हॉर्न है मुझे वहां ले चलो आखिरकार वो हॉर्न speak to the serpent there's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge take me to it finally that horn good now put my lips to the horn That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dobber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them, or they will anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Members me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, ma kuna hun tun ku. travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except that giants in their infinite wisdom saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. You looked kind of mad for a moment. Ah, that. You thought I said you were friends of Odin. Forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look. The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat and we'll go from there.
So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Oof. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She your You Gul really? Boy. I can smell Boy. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have it just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. 
but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamor fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. Because the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles up ahead! A Wolver! Just give the word! Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. <laughs> Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Rick lad. Thanks. His idea. <laughs> Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Survivors. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. What should we do? And I'll find light crystal. Some hope <gasps> Papa! <laughs>
Order the tactical retreat. Harden world retreat that. That's Andy. the improvement. <clears throat> How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Is that Sindri up there? Oh, hey! You again! Come on up! Wow, that was uh, something that the fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Poor so, Fafnir. There's a fine line Can you between guess ambition it? and greed. No, you. Fafnir you know. standing right here. Correct. How do we move forward? Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. I'll keep thinking. 